Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. Today's video is going to be a special video. I decided to answer to my hater. I don't know if he is a hater, but he left two mean comments to my Wing Chun video. And one of those comments, YouTube decided to hide just to not hurt my feelings, but I have seen it anyway. This is why I decided to make this video. In the video I said that if you are fast enough, then you can stop the knee strike completely. But if you are a little bit too slow, then you can at least absorb something on your hands before you get hit in your belly. And this sounds pretty much correct. I saying you are far too weak to absorb an actual day boxer's knee. I was thinking after this comment that maybe I'm wrong, but I asked some of my friends who train a combat sports or martial arts what they do about the knee strikes and they also blocking with forearms. I always blocking with forearms in all my sparrings and always works pretty well to me. I decided to ask four of my friends to kick me full power with the knee strike and see what will happen. So I asked uh, Lucas, Nicolas, Thomas and Soren and all of them are bigger and stronger than me. So you can see if it's even possible. So we make a test. First they kick to the pillow so we can see what would happen with me if I do not block this kick. So, as you could see, all of those guys can knee strike really hard and probably any of those knees could put me down if they connect. But let's try it if my block can handle it. So every time the story was exactly the same. First knee strike was really powerful because everyone tried to break my block. But then they find out that it's really painful for them, not for me. And next knee strike was less and less powerful, but they still tried to break it, but they could not. So I guess my weak forearms are not that weak. So I'm not saying that this technique is the one and only technique which works. No, I'd not say that. I just show you the technique what you can try it out for fun because martial arts you can do also for fun. Actually, this knee is from Soren. I felt the most because when I block his knee, I could feel some tickling in my fingers. And normally I do not experience something like this because my forearms are pretty hard after Wing Chun and Karate training. In my opinion, I felt like this because his weight is almost twice like mine. So he have a much more power. But even that, I could stop him. So it looks like my block worked. <laughs> The trick in this block is that I'm stopping the movement just before it starts. So I'm hitting here, close to the hip, not close to the knee. So I'm hitting this soft area on the thigh. This is why it was so painful for my partners or opponents. Of course, it's possible to stop it close to the knee, but it's more difficult. It's the same if you try to stop the hook. It's much easier to stop it here than in the end of the arm. The same with the stick, it's much easier to catch somebody's stick here close to his hand 
than in the end of the stick because this is the most powerful part of the weapon and this is the same with the arms or legs because and hit the hardest moment moment i know what you are thinking you're going to write oh, this is not the technique what he used in this video it's not possible to block it and catch the knee and i asked my friend to kick me again i didn't tell him that i'm going to try to catch his knee I just said kick me as you did before and i'm going to block it again and you never guess what It's possible to catch the knee. In my old video, I said that if your reaction is good, then you can stop completely this attack. But if you are too slow, then you can at least absorb something for your arms before you get full power strike to your stomach. And this sounds pretty right, right? Yes, so I want to just say that haters are not always useless. This guy gave me an idea for this video, so thank you for that. And what I can say more, thank you for watching, see you next time.